Hello, and welcome to the Abbey de Flaran, Cistercian Abbey built in the 12th century, here in the beautiful department of the Gers in the southwest of France. My name is Ben Brotherton, artist, painter, living here since over 12 years with my family. I'm going to accompany you through the exhibition of the pastelist artist Ken Pan. Ken Payne sadly died at the age of 93. At the beginning of his career, he was a sailor, he travelled a lot, he spent many years in the United States where he developed his aptitude for drawing people. He would draw anybody and everybody that he met without discrimination, from the homeless to celebrities. One's not only content to look at the subject in a drawing like this of Catriona by Ken Payne, but one can also admire the constituents of the drawing, the individual gestures and marks that make it up. And we can admire a piece like this and think of it in terms of an abstract painting by an artist like Cy Twombly. And obviously, when we move up higher into the image, we get something more concrete, more robust. We get a face that appears out of the chaos of mark making. It appears to be done with a limited palette. We can see white and black. There's a bit of dark blue there and some vestiges of brown. But essentially, it's a limited palette, and the artist has managed to convince us of light and dark with very limited means. By varying the strength of his touch, he's created with the black some areas that are darker than others. And though I said earlier that he tends to resist the temptation to mix one color with another on the surface of the, of the paper with his hand, we can see that he is getting some intermediary tones by mixing a bit of the white with the black to create a kind of milky grey. It's rare in his paintings that the light is diffuse and uniform. Often it scrapes across the surface of the subject, helping to describe the volumes. In other words, if you want to paint a sphere, you need the contrast between light and dark. If not, you end up with a flat circle. But if often he uses light to create volume, sometimes he lets shapes drown in the darkness of shadow. If we look at this painting, The Rebel, we can see a dark shape that goes down and up around the nose and back down. It describes the protrusion of the nose, but the eyes themselves are lost. They're not there. We kind of make them up by imagining that they're there. We've got enough information in this part of the face here and the suggestion of the peak of the hat to imagine that there must be eyes. And so it strikes me in the work of Ken Payne that is questioning what is reality. He's questioning our way of perceiving the world, that difference between what we think we see and what is actually there. Drawing was a big part of his life. And this exhibition shows the results of that life consecrated to drawing. A masterful use of pastel, craftsmanship like expertise of technique, understanding of proportion, of perspective, and emotion that's brought about through the choice of color through the position of the subject, the lighting, and the energy of his mark making. This particular painting was done in front of a live audience. And if you watch the video of him working, he's permanently talking to the members of the audience, making them laugh, asking them questions. He's trying to maintain, I think, a light-hearted, generous, warm atmosphere so that he feels light-hearted and generous in his mind, and so that comes across 
in the physical nature, the way in which he marks the paper with these exuberant lines. The mental state of the artist, I think, is important to have confidence. And perhaps that's what we see when we look at his work, this idea of confidence, of surety. It was a great pleasure to share this exhibition with you. I hope you're able to come as soon as possible to the Abbe de Flaran in the Gers and enjoy the works of Campaign. <laughs>